It's a mystery that we have known about for at least 50 years, and it relates to a, a very old cancer drug called cyclophosphamide. Dana-Farber Cancer Institute researchers with a discovery related to a decades-old cancer drug called cyclophosphamide. Cyclophosphamide dates to the 1950s when doctors discovered its powerful properties in treating children in sub-Saharan Africa with a rare but highly fatal form of lymphoma called Burkitt lymphoma. A single dose of this single drug given at a very high dose could actually cure some of the lymphomas. Now, more than 50 years later, Dr. David Weinstock's laboratory discovered the mechanism driving cyclophosphamide is different than what researchers have believed for years. We thought that the drug was simply going to damage the DNA inside the lymphoma cells and that would lead to their death. That did occur to a certain extent, but what was much, much more important is that it changed the environment around the lymphoma cells. Meaning what they thought was a chemotherapy was also a drug that sparked the immune system. This might be the first example of immune, immunocancer therapy uh, certainly being this effective and, uh, and curing patients. This new knowledge can aid research into not just lymphomas, but potentially other cancer types as well, helping researchers discover less toxic treatments that are just as effective or discover new treatments altogether. And so by taking something like cyclophosphamide that we know works, and then take really dissecting the mechanism through which it's working, we can really inform how to take the next step forward in a much, much broader way.